Hello everyone, welcome back. It's me, Mary, and today I'm doing a watercolor painting because yesterday I went to town with my parents and my dad found some watercolors at a thrift store, so he bought them for me. They were brand new in the package and uh, yeah, they're off to the right. Uh, I did show myself swatching them, but I didn't. Also, that's my paint palette you're seeing, the uh, really messy thing. It's my watercolor paint palette, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I decided to draw my OC Isabella uh, wearing a hat. Yeah, she's not wearing a scarf. Uh, she's wearing her normal clothes, except she has a hat on because, yeah. Also, I made her hair extra poofy for some reason, and I love it. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think this picture turned out really, really pretty. I actually really like how it turned out, so... Yes, uh, this is probably the second time I've used watercolors on this channel. I actually use watercolors quite a bit. I just don't show it on camera. Because uh, usually it takes me a long time to do the watercolor. Um, this was actually a smaller picture. And this took me over 30 minutes to do. Uh, not sketching, but just the watercolor and the line art process. If I included the sketching and line art, it probably took me around an hour and, uh, I don't know, hour and 15 minutes, maybe? Hour and 20 minutes, something like that. But with the bigger paintings I do, uh, it takes me around, like, maybe an hour and a half, two hours, depending on how long. Um, and by the way, with my watercolor paintings, I feel like they come together once I add the line art. Uh, and I usually use colored pencil for line art, because I can also do a little bit of shading as well. Um colored pencil. I don't do it hardly uh, that much, but I do it a little bit. So, uh, so like I was saying, my dad and my mom and me, my parents, yep. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't say my parents there. Uh, we went to town yesterday, which was actually really fun. That's the reason why I couldn't record, because we actually had to leave at 12, and so I had to uh, clean up in the house a little bit, make breakfast, and get ready. So, yeah. Anyway, but we went to town, and I got to see my special friend, which was so amazing. I missed her so much. Um, <laughs> because I haven't seen her very much. And apparently, she surprised me with Pocky. If you don't know what Pocky is, uh, it's basically this Japanese snack. It's so good. It's, imagine pretzels, but not as salty, kind of. And with chocolate or something else on it. So she got me the, she got me four flavors. Matcha, banana... Uh, strawberry and chocolate. My least favorite was the strawberry. It was good, but it was, you know, it, it wasn't my favorite thing, but it was really good, but I like the chocolate better. Uh, the banana kind of tastes like a banana moon pie, if you've ever had those before. <laughs> like, it has, like, a little bit of a hint of banana moon pie in there. And then, um, the matcha was actually, I didn't think I'd like the matcha, and when I first tried it, I was kind of just like... I don't know if I like this or not, but then um, I kept eating it, and I'm like, hey, you know what, this is pretty good. <laughs> well, it's not as sweet, um, so yeah, it's it's not as sweet as the other ones, and it's kind of like a tea. So if you like tea, then I think you you like the matcha, but I don't know. My special friend was telling me that she was surprised that I like the matcha because uh, most people don't, I think. <laughs> So, yes. Um, basically, yeah, she also got me some uh, little cute erasers, like some fries, and they were, like, food-themed. They were really cute. And some pins and, um, oh, my word, patches to, like, iron on things. So, that's cool. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, yes. Okay, funny story I have for you guys. Uh, I told Fochery this yesterday, but I'll tell you guys now. Um, so, me and my special friend were talking about the Strawberry King, who is a character of mine. And I couldn't remember his name for the life of me. And I'm like, it starts with a G. And so we start saying G names. And then she says, is it Greg? And I'm like, no, it's not Greg. And this guy walks past us, and he's like, 
my name's Greg. And so I was just like, what the heck? <laughs> so all we could think about was Greg. And I was like, I'm thinking of Gregory. And she's like, I was thinking of Gregory too. And like, we were talking like, all we can think about is Greg now. And then he, he's still standing there, you know, looking at stuff in the store. And he just says, I have that effect on people. <sighs> I, it was great. It was great. Greg was great. I know Greg isn't watching this, but if you are, that was nice. <laughs> I don't know why, but it, little things like that kind of, like, make my day for some reason. I just think it's funny, but... Yeah. Also, I finally remembered his name, um, which I should have. It's Gabriel. I should remember that because Gabriel LeGrasse, like, what the heck, bro? <laughs> Miraculous. <laughs> think of that. Anyway. But, uh, yeah. But now that's going to come for a thing in the story where people will forget the k king's name and think, is it Greg? <laughs> so you might see that in my story that I'm working on. Who knows? But yeah, it's just an idea I had because that'd be funny to put that in there. Uh, let's see. What else happened yesterday? Uh, we went to some thrift stores and consignment shops. And it was really funny. Because they had, so you know how when you go into thrift stores and stuff, they kind of have a little bit of, like, you know, like, old things from, like, the 70s, older than that as well. Most of it's creepy. Like, I saw this, like, snowman. It looks so terrifying. I also saw some creepy clowns. Um, yeah. And I saw, yeah. For me, I think some old stuff, some old stuff is cute, some of it's creepy. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Oh, also, okay, so at one of the thrift stores, we got a Christmas tree. It was so cool. I was so excited to get a Christmas tree. Uh, we haven't had a Christmas tree since I was probably, I want to say seven. No, probably younger than that. Six, maybe. Um, so this is the first year I'll be having a Christmas tree since I was like six. And the funny thing is, is we actually already have it up in our house. And it's so tall. It, like, there's barely any room on the top for, like, a star or anything. So, yeah. Also, let me know. What do you put on top of your tree? An angel or a star? Because I know my grandma always puts angels on the top of her trees. Um, we always put stars. So, I don't know what we'll put on the top of the tree this year. But, yeah. I was thinking of making some ornaments. Uh, and I was thinking I could do it in a video. Uh, what I might do is ask my dad or one of my brothers to go outside. Like, I'll go outside, find some wood. They can cut it for me. And then maybe I could, like, paint on the wood. And, like, you know, put a string on it. We could hang it on the tree. And I could paint Varian. And we can just have Varian on our Christmas tree. <laughs> and they can sleep under the tree looking up at Varian, like... I'm in heaven. Okay, I'm joking. I'm joking. I would probably most likely do one of my OCs. Uh. <laughs> yep. Okay. Anywho. Um. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, we bought a Christmas tree and we went to another thrift store and I bought my mom these little, they were like, it's like a little decoration and it's these two little pigs and one's in a bucket and one isn't and they had some cows that were so cute as well but uh, my mom said she was fine with just the pigs I'm like no you want the cows I'll get them I didn't get them I wish I did because they were so cute but now she has the little pigs and they're adorable I still have to give my dad the money for that because I haven't I didn't have any money on me at the time so, and I'm glad I didn't because it means I didn't have to pay. Literally, the most terrifying thing for me is talking to people in public. I just, it's just terrifying. And I had to do it yesterday. And I'm so proud of myself. My dad left his cane in the bank, so I had to go get it. And so the lady looked at me and I'm like, my dad left his cane in the bank. And she's like, oh, okay. And I'm like, have a good day. And she's like, you too. And I'm like, walking out of the building and I'm like, oh my word, I am so cool. I said, have a good day. I've never done that before because I've been too scared to. I was social. Was I scared half to death? Yes. Was I not prepared for that? No, I wasn't. But I did it anyway. Introvert problems. 
Am I right? Okay. Uh, and then what else did I do in the store? Uh, oh, my dad bought a five gallon bucket of pickles. <laughs> and I was taking the cart back in the store and one of the uh, employees were talking to me about the pickles again and I'm like, yeah, we're gonna eat them all tonight <laughs> we didn't but let me tell you, those pickles were actually the best pickles I've had because they're not really that sour and they're not that juicy because you know how sometimes you'll bite into a pickle or cut it open and the juice just kind of like goes everywhere these pickles weren't like that they're actually more cucumbery, if that makes any sense uh, they have more of a texture of a cucumber, but they taste better than a cucumber. If you don't know me, I don't really like cucumbers that much, or vegetables in general. <laughs> there are some vegetables I like, and then there's some that I'm just, get this abomination away from me. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Brussels sprouts. You're terrifying. Anyway, um, I've never had them raw, though. If I ate the Brussels sprouts raw, they'd, like, in, like, a salad or something. I don't really like salad, but, like drench it in salad dressing beautiful and it has to be ranch mm. anyway so <laughs> i'm just talking about food uh let's see so yeah i like how i have a lot of videos planned for uh december but not really for um like now <laughs> I'm like i'll do this in december and that in december and this and that and everything um but, uh, you know, haven't really decided what to do now, so, but I like how this picture turned out. Um, it looks a little weird now, but stay to the end and you'll see the finished result, because it's really pretty. Um, let's see. So, what else did we do? Uh, uh, went to another thrift store. I don't know if I told you this already. I got a bear. So there's these bears they sell at Walmart every winter. I think they're called, like, snowflake bears? Maybe? I don't know. And I got one from, I think it was, so I had one my grandparents bought me at a thrift store a while back ago, and it was from the year 2001, maybe, I think. And the one my dad got me was from 19-something-something. Yeah, I can't really remember. But I... It's, okay, so I have the girl bear, I need the boy one, but they didn't have the boy one there, they only had a girl, so I got the girl. Uh, they actually had two there, and one was in a blue dress, and one was in a red one, and I looked between them, and I'm like, I like the red one better. So, um, even though the one I have, her name's Holly, yes, I named her, um, has a red dress on, I wanted the other one as well. So I'll have to clean it really well, because it has a little bit of stuff on the bear's back of the head. But it'll be fine. I might be able to throw it in the wash. If I can't, I'll just literally get a cloth and scrub it. See, here's the thing with me. If I find something I really like, I don't care if it's dirty. I am going to clean it, and I'm going to love it forever. Yes, I'm weird. Do I care? Not really. Not really at all. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah. I'll have to figure out what to name this one. I was thinking I could name it Jolly, because Holly and Jolly have a Holly Jolly Christmas. It'd be funny. <laughs> but I'll see I'm thinking something uh, this one looks a bit more kind of I feel like it looks like it had like an older name like something fancy you know yes I know it's a stuffed animal yes I'm gonna name it still I don't know why just leave me alone <laughs> do people still name their stuffed animals like I know kids do, but, like, what age do you stop aging your, the aging, naming your stuffed animals? What age do you stop aging? That's, <laughs> that's the real question. You never stop aging. Time will go on and on, and you'll never stop aging until the day you die. Oh, that sounds sad. You'll still be aging, though, because you'll be aging in your, your coffin. <laughs> so you'll never stop aging. What, why am I talking like this? Anyway, uh, but yeah, me and my special friend were also talking about, um, what else were we talking about? We talked about YouTube, and we also talked about Ruth and Faux Cherry. I told, uh, her that I saw a plush monkey, and I thought about getting it for Faux Cherry. 
<laughs> but I didn't because one, I don't have her address to send it to her. Um, oh my word, you know, I could have gotten the plush monkey and named it Faux Cherry. That would have been great. And then all I need is like a plush chicken and to name it Ruth. Wonderful. Wonderful. If you guys don't know, they, they hate those animals. Ruth hates chickens. Faux Cherry hates monkeys. <laughs> so yeah. Um. <laughs> Which my special friend was like, yeah, I've always thought monkeys were a little creepy. I'm like, yeah, they are. Some are cute. You have to find, like, the right monkeys. Some monkeys are cute. Some monkeys aren't. Some monkeys are just terrifying, in my opinion. But, you know. Uh, and I, I think it's funny how my special friend finds it so cool that I'm friends with someone I've been watching on YouTube for, like, a while. A.K.A. Ruth is what we're talking about. Uh, she finds it cool that I, that I'm friends with someone that I used to watch a ton. I mean, I still watch her a ton, but still, you know. Um, and I also find it cool. I honestly, I wonder sometimes if I'm gonna wake up from a dream and lose everything, and I'm like, what the heck, why? <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's weird that this is a reality sometimes. That I'm friends with such amazing people. Um, so yeah. But I'm also scared of losing them. Is that weird? I'm scared of losing my friends because I don't know. <laughs> I'm just scared. <laughs> also, something funny is I didn't realize this until like yesterday. So before I started my YouTube channel, I kind of kept praying that God would send me like Christian friends and... Oh, what do you know? <laughs> I have Faux Cherry and Ruth and, Bl and Blossom. So, like, you know, like, uh, I have those now. And I didn't even realize. But, yeah. Because I kind of thought that he would send me friends, like, in real life. You know? Like, in, like, person. But I, I kind of like having them online. I mean, but now all we keep talking about is meeting each other in person. Like, how awesome that would be. Um... I mean, I could make faux cherry biscuits and hot chocolate. I made the most divine hot chocolate. And yes, I'm using that word because it is how you describe it. It's like the best thing I've ever had in my entire life. It's so good. It's just, mm, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's just awesome. And the ingredients are very simple. It's just milk, cocoa powder, vanilla, and sugar. But the trick here is using fresh cow's milk because we have a cow. And so we've been using the milk for hot chocolate. But we've only made it twice because we're kind of um, running out of milk. We used to get like probably three gallons a day. Now we only get like barely even one. So <laughs> yeah, but she's slowly picking back up. So that's good. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much how my day went yesterday. I was so excited to tell everyone. But yeah, um, trying to think, is there anything else I want to say real quick to wrap this up? Uh, oh yeah, I missed talking to Faux Cherry and Ruth like crazy. I was thinking about them the whole day. Like, I miss them so much. <laughs> anyway, um, but I will talk to you guys in the next... Actually, tomorrow is not going to be the next video. It's going to be a stream. So I'll see you guys in the stream tomorrow. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It really means a ton. And comment down below, like the video, uh, all that sort of stuff, you know. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day. So, yeah, hope you can make it to the stream. And you guys are the best. I love you, love you, love you so much. And that's really all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked how the picture turned out. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye, guys. Love you. Okay, bye. <laughs>